another August and another opportunity to get away from the humidity and the heat of Florida. Remy, what did you do today in Utah? Other things to do in Utah. Hike. Here we are. Deer Valley Summit. My name is David Carrier. I'm a passionate entrepreneur who founded a business in 2007 with a multi million dollar exit in 2021. I've been a global sales manager, manufacturer, CEO private pilot, and now I'm semi-retired. My daughter Stephanie is a former NBA employee turned successful real estate agent. In early 2023, we started Quantum Fly Capital Group, a real estate investment firm specializing in multifamily investments. More than anything, we're here to show you that retirement is not as far away as you think, and we want to help you get there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Another August and another opportunity to get away from the humidity and the heat of Florida. And once again, we go to our favorite place. In fact, I've gone out here for many years in the past. Just enjoy the contrast of the Great Plains and the mountains here in Utah. What a beautiful, beautiful country. So today we just drove past the Great Salt Lake, heading to the uh, the Bonneville Salt Flats, home of Land Speed Records, and uh, it's it's a couple hours drive, but it's it's worth it if you're ever in Salt Lake, you're near in the Utah area in the Salt Lake City area, take a ride out to Bonneville. Really cool day trip to come out here from Salt Lake. It's about two hours fifteen minutes, give or take, to get out here, but it's well worth it. And that's where we're headed today. And boy, there's no humidity, no heat. I mean, there's heat. There's no humidity. So I can I can deal with this. Welcome to the Bonneville Salt Flats and Speed Week 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Bonneville. We came all the way out here, two and a half hours, so what we so we could what? Have a snack. So we could snack, of course. Well, we're gonna check out the cars too. We just happen to be in the area. This starts in two days, but as you can see behind me, everybody is setting up and they're getting ready to run, make some speed runs, make some possible world record uh, runs here on the salt flat. Pretty amazing when you look at it. These salt flats, they just go on forever. It's just, it, it's sort of, plays with your brain when you, when you look out all this whiteness 
goes for miles and miles. Just a really cool vibe out here. And um, what a great uh, getaway if you're traveling in Salt Lake. So as you know, we've become sort of habitual travelers. So for us, this is, this is really ideal to get out, see the world, enjoy the activities going on in each specific area, like here in Utah. Actually, the Utah-Nevada border, about two and a half miles from Salt Lake. So, cool day. We're gonna go check out some some cars over here. Some uh, some road. There's a lot of a lot of hot rods, a lot of roadsters uh, out here uh, running times. So, really some cool stuff. Uh, the grandkids will enjoy it. So, uh, let's go check it out. Wow, well, wish we could stay longer for Speed Week, but. We're just a little early this time. Maybe uh, Debbie and I will come out and uh, check it out later. But uh, great day here on the flats. They're getting set up. They're checking these cars out. Uh, they're getting them measured up and doing whatever they need to do to classify each group of cars. And of course, you got people, you know, they want to get pictures in front of the sign here. Uh, just a cool place. If you ever get out to the Saw Flats, it's kind of alien looking. It's kind of an alien looking landscape. But uh, very cool out here. There's so much to do in Utah. Everywhere you look, it's very outdoorsy. Today, my daughter, her husband, and their kids are gonna go down the river. Here in Hennifer, Hennifer Utah. Hey. Easy going river there. Should be a nice day. Gorgeous outside, sun shining, birds are chirping. There's a dog peeing behind me. Here you go! Hi. <laughs> Here we are, Lost Creek Reservoir, deep in the heart of northeast Utah. This would be just east of Ogden up here in the mountains. Beautiful, beautiful views. There's a more just kind of meanders through that. And I have just one question for you, Debbie. Was it worth the drive? Yes, it was. Wonderful. Beautiful. She didn't say that about <laughs> 10 miles ago. <laughs> hey, here we are at a very, very cool little lunch venue called Taggart's Grill. It is uh, nestled here in the, uh, between a couple of mountains and down in a canyon. So here we go. Other things to do in Utah. Hike. Lots of hiking trails all over Park City, throughout the mountains. I mean, you can get yourself lost out here. In fact, a couple of years back, we actually did. We got so lost, we had to find a road, make a call, and get Ubered back to the house. So. 
it's real easy to get lost out here if you're not careful and don't stay on the trails. We're gonna do our best today to do that. Stay on the trails. Well, you know it's gonna take two takes. You know, nature is a wonderful thing, isn't it? The beauty, the majesty, the glory, the, the rawness of the rain coming down on your head as you're halfway through a trail run, trail walk. Uh, and uh, you know, just the beauty around us is absolute. Well, not that beauty, no, no, not this part. This part over here, this is beauty. We're gonna try a whip pan. All right, look at that. Here's our trusty steed, the Grand Wagoneer. And it brought us here. Look at the view. Welcome to Empire Pass. This is just above Deer Valley. Actually, it's between Deer Valley and Park City. And now we're on the other side of the mountain, looking down toward, well, Little Cottonwood Canyon is to the left. And then down there in the valley, I don't know if that's Provo, that's some other city. Anyway, great view up here. I'll have to do the uh, geography check of the lake in the valley. It's beautiful. That's as close as we need to get because any step further, you might run away and then ruin yeah. it for everyone. Where is he? Inside, get some. I want to pet him. It's a tunnel. Uh, it's like ice water. Look at look at girls. Look at this natural corrugated metal pipe. <laughs> yes. Could you point that out for the for the guests, for the viewership? That is snow melt right there, here in August 2024. Snow is still melting. Oh, you got guts. Hey, where are we? Where are we, guys? Donut Falls. Hey, everybody. Donut Falls. Donut, try to fall. Here we are Sunday at the Silver Lake Lodge. This is halfway up Deer Valley. Call it mid, mid mountain. Having a little, nice little summer get together. Live music. Love it up here in the summertime, it's beautiful. It's gotta be about 78 degrees. 
comfortable. They've got the, uh, the lift going. So you can see the sights. Good times up here. So what do you think, Remy? You want to give us a little, uh, you want to talk a little bit about, uh, about Deer Valley and what you think so far? You think it's really, really good. Why? Because I like hiking up mountains. Oh, the mountains. What did you do today that was kind of interesting and probably I the best? Up donut bars. Don't. Oh my goodness. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> ha. Look at us. So. Here's Deer Valley in the summertime. They convert from skis to wheels. Everything is mountain biking heaven up here. But you cannot ask for a better venue. Park City is beautiful. Actually, this is Deer Valley. Deer Valley is beautiful too. Here we are, Deer Valley Summit. What do you think? That's the Jordanelle Reservoir. This is all the backside of Deer Valley. An amazing view there. Look at the lakes on, or look at the boats on the lake. Just lots and lots of boats. Out on the Jordanelle Reservoir. Okay, here we are, it's Tuesday on Timpanogos Trail. And we are all hiking to the waterfall. It's just beautiful out here. There's our view.